everybody, it's Matt from Eastwood. We're here at SEMA 2012. And one of the things we were watching leading up to the show was the eBay Built Series. Basically, they took a batch of cars, bought them off eBay, gave them to a couple different shops, and just uh, let them go crazy on it. One of our favorite ones that we picked probably was obviously a you know, hot rodded themed one. Uh, we're here with Mackie from Mackie's Hot Rods. He built this van. You know, this isn't your normal tea bucket or something like that that they picked. They uh, they picked something a little out of ordinary. So tell us a little bit about the van and you know what it started off as. Well, yeah, basically, did we? Uh, you know, they picked this for us, man. We were actually trying to do a hot rod, but they came in with the van, and I mean, it's pretty bitching. It turned out good, you know. Um, we got it, it was a total rust bucket, you know, and the lower rockers were wasted. Uh, we replaced a lot of sheet metal on the thing. Basically, when we got the van, uh, we, were, we were even told by the owner that there was just a ton of bottom in the back doors. So instantly I thought, okay, we'll make new door skins. Um, so I fabricated the door skins themselves, and I used, uh, actually used your guys' uh, sheet metal brake, and, and I actually used uh, the shrinker stretcher on a couple areas um, for you guys. So. Then we had uh, made the made the templates up, and I had a, a guy down the street that punches movers. He, he punched all these for us, but I had to lay them out. And then once we got them back, I had to hammer over the edges of the door skin and everything. You said you mentioned you used some of our, uh, you know, our Eastwood products you have around the shop. Have you? Uh, we, were, we were chatting yesterday. You mentioned you've, you've had our stuff for a while before you even, you know, got got your shop going like you did just when you were at home. Right? Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Is like a lot of the stuff that I had in my garage just just when I was building cars for myself um, were a lot of Eastwood products. So I just basically took those and put them in my shop. You know, so um, we got your uh, your sheet metal brake, uh, the shrinker stretcher, of course a lot of the hand tools. Um, you got your guys' shot bag and your uh, your mallets, your plastic mallets. Right. Uh, we use a lot of your products too, um, some of the clears, um, also the lead, uh, all the lead stuff, the tinny butter, the lead, right. you know, so there's a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff that we would recommend that we use. What's cool is, is companies like yourself that are making the product available and making videos and how to. I think that's kind of bringing it back and for the younger generation like myself, you know, and we're starting to starting to kind of carry on the legacy of these old timers from the 40s and 50s that were doing this stuff. Uh, in the front in the front end here too, we shaped everything. There was the, the vents, the windshield wipers, all that stuff. We got rid of all that, made new panels. Uh, did a lot of lead work up in the eight pillars, you know, and used a lot of these with, these with uh, lead and lead equipment that you guys sell. Um, back of it we did louvers you know the inside's all aircraft theme and uh, of course it goes to a military charity so that's kind of the best part yeah so everybody basically you know, just to hit on that um, you know all these cars in the you know, ebay built series were done for a different foundation so can you tell us a little bit about yours and what you know the, i know you mentioned some significance for you personally about this uh, you know this foundation yeah i mean the, the, the cool thing is like we decided to do uh, the injured marine super five fund um, and when, when I decided to do that charity, it kind of like a light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, okay, well, if we do the Intergreen Semper Five Fund, we should do a military theme on the van. So that's kind of where the inspiration was from. You know, it's kind of we chose our charity first and then decided to do the theme after. You know? uh, very cool. And, you know, like you mentioned on the inside, you got all kinds of neat little, you know, items, aircraft items off of eBay. Yeah, I mean, the, the probably the best thing is we have the bomber seats, World War II bomber seats. Um, and then we have a we have a real uh, aircraft compass in there. We have the engine primer. Um, we did a lot of aluminum fabrication on the inside. Um, we have all the switches and knobs from an airplane. Um, and then the taillights are actually wingtip lights from an aircraft. So ton of ton of cool uh, airplane ideas and, and actual. It's not a lot. Not, you know, nothing we used in there doesn't work. Everything's functional. So that's pretty cool too. Yeah, that's definitely cool. With uh, you know. Not to take a jab at some of these SEMA cars, but there's a lot of SEMA cars here that uh, they look like they work, but they don't. So that's right. that's good to hear that you know you guys actually took this thing out, you know, beat on it a little bit, right? For the you know I think I saw in the end of the series. Yeah, yeah. We we the, the unveiling we drove it and then uh, you know we test drove it. We took it to the strip. It literally had like a half hour of, of testing on it, and we drag raced the thing ten. We made ten passes at about 102 miles an hour, you know, ten times. So this thing, yeah, I mean, everything's functional, it works. You know, I'd, I'd be willing to drive it across the country, man. You know, and uh, they're auctioning this off, right? Is it is it getting auctioned off the, sometime this week? Actually, they have the auction, and uh, it has it has been sold to a really cool guy. I met him here in, at SEMA this year. 
Um, it's, it's a husband and wife, and they own a, a drag racing uh, team, and they have about 35 cars. They have a museum here in Vegas. So this van is actually going to be at the museum 24-7. And they promised me they would still drive it, so that's cool too. Yeah, that's really cool. So anybody who wants to check this out, you know, they can come to Vegas and see this thing in person and you know, check out how cool the custom work on it.